Hi, my name is Mariana, and I'm going to present our work on understanding first viral diversity at the pig and litter level using whole genome sequencing. For this study, one feral twin farm representative of current practices was selected. This farm reported a first outbreak after over two years with a naive herd. They performed live virus inoculation, or LVI, with the recently introduced virus nine days after viral detection. Then, sample collection was done two weeks after LVI by our research team from all piglets from all three to five days old leaders. The piglets were ear tagged and individually blood samples were obtained close to farrowing when they were three to five days old, close to weaning when they were 18 to 19 days old, twice when they were at the nursery and once at the finisher site. Each individual sample was submitted to whole genome sequencing. However, only the regions of 2 to 7 of the genome were assessed, comparing the percentage of nucleotide matches in each position of the sequences. Here we show preliminary results for 101 samples from the farrowing sampling 1 and the weaning sampling 2. This graph shows the distribution of percent nucleotide identity to the consensus by leader. Briefly, the consensus can be described as a sequence containing the most frequent nucleotide in each position amongst all sequences analyzed. The higher the percent nucleotide identity, the more similar a sequence is to the consensus in terms of what nucleotides are present in each, in each position. The numbers in the horizontal axis indicates the different leaders by each sampling point. All sequences were around 99% or more similar to the consensus during the first sampling. However, if we look at the results from the second sampling, although most sequences were still 99.8% or more similar to the consensus, sequences from liters 10 and 12 presented more discrepancies with lower percent identity. Since animals were individually sampled over time, we also looked at within animal nucleotide difference, differences between samplings. We observed that 29% of all animals with a paired sample between farrowing and weaning had a completely identical sequence in both samplings, meaning the vi virus present in that individual did not change. On the other hand, the remaining 71% of them had different sequences between S1 and S2. The lowest, the lowest similarity between S1 and S2 sequences um, was 98.7%. So even though the viral diversity was overall low in terms of percent nucleotide identity, only 30% of all sequences were completely identical to the consensus showing there is, there is within farms, farm virus variability. We also show that the existing variability might be different by litter and that within animal viral changes can occur in a period as short as two weeks. Lastly, we found that the regions that presented the highest variability were ORFs 4 and 5A. These results provide important insights on first virus microevolution in piglets potentially the source of the next re-emerging virus of in growing pig farms. Potential applications are reassessments of current molecular epidemiological investigation practices and of vaccine field evaluation, evaluations, since the frequency of heterologous first variants in herds could ultimately impact their efficacy. I would like to thank everyone involved in this project and the funding sources. Thank you.